Good morning dear students and once again welcome back to this online class video. This is the sixth part and the last part of the chapter 2 shapes and angles of class 5 subject mathematics. And before starting the video I request to the all viewers to like, share and subscribe my channel. And I am Jay Prakas. Let's start the class. At first I want to tell you what are the topics of today that we will cover. So the first topic is reading of angles measurement and the second is making of angles of given degrees. These two topics are not in your test book. So and I thought that these two are very important topics. So I just making this video and this video is going to be very interesting. So without any delay let's start the class. So first here you can see that I have written the topic reading of angles measurement and here you can see angle A O B angle P Q R and some many angles are here and now we are going to measure this. In this video in this topic you will learn that how to measure the angle okay and here I have the protector okay you can see and this type of protector you have in your geometry box so let's take the first angle which is angle AOB okay this is the name of this angle AOB and you will write its name see, this is the symbol of angle then write here A O and B is equal to dash 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 degree now let's find its measurement so first here you have to know the parts of these angles so here you can see that it has two ray OA and OB so this ray I mean OA is known as the base line of this angle okay this is the base line remember that and this is the supporting ray so now in this protector you have also you can see that we have also a base line this black line is also known as the base line and here uh, in two parts the numbers are given here the first is in downside in 0 then 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 and similarly in the upper side you can see in opposite direction means from the left side 0 10 20 30 40 the numbers are given here actually these are the degrees okay and between this uh, like uh, 10 and 20 here we can see some small lines these are also pointing the degrees for example between 10 and 20 here we can see a line this line is pointing 15 degree okay between 10 and 20 here we have 15 and so on now come to the first angle that is the name of this angle is angle a o b and we are going to measure this how to measure it just watch it first you have put the protector base line okay you have to put the protectors base line on the base line of angle AOB and the base line is OA okay and from the point O uh, an angle is made so the base lines main point this is the mid mid point okay you can see main main point or mid point so you will put this main point on the point O clear you can see here that I have put the uh, may, mid point of the protector on the point O and I am trying to uh, cover the base line which is OA with the base line of the protector clear and now you can see that the ray OB degree okay so here you can see that uh, OB ray is between 20 and 30 so it will be 25 so now we will write the uh, degree of this angle AOB so it is 25 and degree clear now come to the second uh, angle that is angle PQR now we have to find the degree of angle P Q and R is equal to dash 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 so same thing you have to do first check the basic uh, line of the angle PQR that is PQ and from point Q you will put the uh, midpoint of the protector okay in this way and now try to uh, cover the baseline that is QP or you can say PQ and here I have to, I have covered and now you can see that the ray QR is on the 20 and 160 okay so here we have 20 and 160 so you can see that it is a it is an acute angle so we will take 20 degree so you can write here 20 degree okay you will not take 160 because 160 is uh, 
obtuse angle which is more than 90 degree clear how you in which, in which condition you will take 160 degree i will tell you in the next angle here we have an angle m n o and we are going to measure it okay and as you can see that it is an obtuse angle okay it means its degree will be more than 90 degree so let's measure it so just put the middle point of the projector on the point n okay and try to cover the base line with the m n so as you can see that i have covered and now you can see that ray n o is lying on which number that is lying on 110 as you can see so now you can write that m n is 110 degree and you can write here angle m n o is equal to 110 degree now come to the next angle which is angle d e f okay and we are going to measure it so here you can see the baseline is d e and the main point is angle point is e so we will put the midpoint of the projector on point e and we will try to adjust the adjust to cover the basic line that is e and d here you can see that i have uh, properly covered the basic line d e you can see and now the ray you will check the ray e f and the ray e f is on 30 and 150 so it is an obtuse angle so we will take 150 degree not 30 degree okay so here you can write angle d e f is equal to uh, 150 degree clear and one more angle is here you can see g h i can you tell me the degree of this angle can you guess yes it may be 90 degree it means right angle let's check it yes it is right angle you can see the ray h i is on 90 okay so it means it is a right angle so we got two acute angles two obtuse angle one right angle and another acute angle we didn't measure it let's measure it uh, it is yes can you tell me the degree of this angle it will be 50 degree and 130 degree yes we will take 50 degree because it is an acute angle if it will be a, a obtuse angle so we take 130 degree at that time now the topic one is covered now we will come to the next topic which is making of angles of given degree and here you can see that i have taken 30 degree 75 degree 90 degree 140 degree and the last is 180 degree so can you tell me in these degrees which are acute angles yes a and b 30 and 75 degree one right angle is 90 degree and 140 degree is the yes it is obtuse angle and 180 degree is a straight angle okay now uh, let's try to draw the angle of 30 degree so for that you need one more thing ruler okay to draw straight lines so first i will draw the line baseline okay for 30 degree so just take a baseline okay and just point it and name this a and b now you will decide that from which point you will draw the another ray from point a or from point b okay so i am drawing from point a okay so it is an acute angle so acute angles are less than right angle means 90 degree so it will bend which side left side or right side yes the another ray we will draw right side this way okay for 30 degree so now use the protector and put the midpoint of the protector on the point a and try to cover the baseline and i have covered the baseline clear now you will check where is 30 degree here right side we will take because it is an acute angle so here is 30 degree okay so just take a point here we have point and now using ruler you can draw the another ray and symbol this and in this angle you will write 30 degree yes it was very easy right yes very nice now let's take the second second number 
सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री इट इज एन एक्यूट एंगल सो वंस अगेन थ्रू द रूल ऑफ यू कैन ड्रॉ अ लाइन बेस लाइन ओके बेसिक बेस लाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो एंड नेम दिस पी क्यू सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द एंगल फ्रॉम पॉइंट क्यू ओके नॉट फ्रॉम पी फ्रॉम द पॉइंट क्यू नाउ यू हैव टू चेक दैट दिस इज सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री मीन्स इट इज एन एक्यूट एंगल सो द एक्यूट एंगल्स आर लेस देन नाइन्टी डिग्री मीन्स लेस देन एल शेप सो नाउ सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री विल बैंड विच साइड लेफ्ट साइड और राइट साइड यस इट इज एन एक्यूट एंगल सो इट विल बैंड मीन्स द रे विल गो लेफ्ट साइड सो नाउ पुट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द प्रोडक्टर ऑन पॉइंट क्यू एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड द सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री हियर यू कैन सी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी नाइन्टी ओके सेवेंटी फाइव इज नॉट रिटर्न हियर सो यू हैव टू चेक दैट सेवेंटी फाइव कम्स बिटवीन सेवेंटी एंड एटी एंड वी फाइंड आउट ओके नाउ मार्क द मिडिल पॉइंट बिटवीन सेवेंटी एंड एटी बिकॉज द बिटवीन नंबर ऑफ सेवेंटी एंड एटी इज सेवेंटी फाइव एंड हियर आई हैव मार्क इट ओके नाउ यूजिंग द रूल यू विल मैच पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट टू पॉइंट क्यू ओके एंड ड्रॉ अ लाइन here we have draw a line now just make raise and now you can write here 75 degree here we are going to construct an angle with 90 degree so for that take a ruler and draw a base line and name this as a p q okay now you will decide that from which point you will draw the straight line so i decided that from point p i will make a uh, right angle okay means 90 degree so just fix the point midpoint of the projector with point uh, with the base line pq and here you can see the 90 degree just mark a point and using ruler you can match this point with point p in this way and now You can mark here ninety degree. So PQR is the ninety degree. Now let's construct an angle for one hundred forty degree. So same thing, my dear students. Once again, draw the base line. Okay, and name this X Y. And now you will decide from which point you will uh, make an angle for one forty degree. So the another ray that you will construct for one forty. Okay, that will come. Uh, left side or right side so you have to check how you will check you know that obtuse angle is more than 90 degree if you will construct from uh, another ray from x point so the obtuse angle means another ray will go to the left side so now just measure the 140 degree using the projector pr uh, so here we have 140 degree so just uh, mark it and using the ruler you will match that point okay and name this oh just mistake i made here wait this one is correct yes x y and it is z so this is is 140 degree and the last is Angle for 180 degree. So same thing, my dear students. Just draw a straight line, okay? And name this first uh, O X, okay? And from point O, we will make another ray for 180 degree. So same thing. Just uh, put the midpoint of the projector with point O and cover the base line x o x okay and now you will check that it is an obtuse angle so and from point o i am taking this so another ray will come to the left side so uh, just find out where is 140 deg uh, 180 degree so 140 is here 150 60 70 80 and here is 180 degree okay now match this point with point o and symbolize this okay and you can write here 180 degree okay it is very easy when you will draw a straight line okay and just put a point here like uh, c 
okay and write here d and e and just make a symbol here and write 180 degree this straight line will also making 180 degree so it is very easy